If you love Amigurumi and you love Stranger Things, this is the episode for you. As soon as I started watching season four of Stranger Things, I knew that I had to crochet a Stranger Things themed amigurumi pattern. I immediately got onto Google and started searching for Stranger Things amigurumi patterns, and I found so many amazing different projects, but eventually I settled on one, which I will share with you at the end of the video. But first, I want to share all of the other patterns that I almost chose because they're so amazing and I just want you to see all of them. I'm just getting excited just thinking about it. But don't worry, there are going to be no spoilers in this entire video. I don't want to ruin Stranger Things for anyone. And you'll also find a link for all the patterns and resources in the description box below. And in the comment section, please let me know who your favorite Stranger Things character is. I don't think I have just one, but I love Dustin. I love Max. I love Joyce. I love Hopper. And I love Murray. Oh my gosh, I okay, they're all my favorites, but let's go ahead and we're gonna jump right in to the first project that I almost made, but I didn't. I chose a different one, but this one was a really close second. I really love this pattern of 11 by Jeanan Silio Nai Myra. I hope I'm saying that right. This is such a great pattern because it basically comes with two versions of 11. So you have her with the shaved head in the pink dress. Then you have season three 11, and she's wearing this really stereotypical. 80s outfit and she's got her hair up in a scrunchie and I really love this because I loved season three of Stranger Things. That's really where I began to fall in love with the entire series and I've been telling my son all about how the music is so authentic to that time period because I was alive and well in the early 80s and also the clothing and the hairstyles are really just on point. They really look like you're strolling the mall in 1984 and it just looks exactly like it. So that's one of the reasons why I love this pattern. I love this version of 11 and it's really the only one that I found of 11 from season three. All of the other ones were from seasons one, two, or four. None of them were from season three. So this one was really unique. The next project is Steve and Robin in their Scoops Ahoy uniform. Oh my gosh, this is one of my favorite parts of all of Stranger Things and I also just love this this pattern so much. I love that it perfectly captures season three and Steve and Robin working in Starcourt Mall, scooping up all that ice cream. And side note, that is where I just fell in love with spunky little Eric. I just love her attitude and her intelligence. I love her so much. This pattern is so much fun to me because this is really when Stranger Things stole my heart. Because I started watching Stranger Things when it came out in 2007. 16 and I thought it was okay. I wasn't super interested in it and I just thought it was just going to be kind of just a fun show. Nothing more than that. And when we started watching season two the next year, I liked it okay, but I ended up not even finishing season two and I just thought it was all right. But when season four came out just a few weeks ago, that's when I told my son, let's watch it. And he really wasn't on board because he felt the same way about it that I did. But we kind of started watching season four and I immediately realized, oh my gosh, this is different. This is something really special. We need to go back. We cannot start right now. So we went back and started watching season one. We finished it, season two. Halfway through season three is when I really got hooked. I just fell in love with the whole story. I really just resonated with the characters and it just was so nostalgic with all of the 80s references. I loved it so much. So from that point forward, I was kind of obsessed is a good way to describe how I'm feeling about Stranger Things right now. So this pattern was designed by Crocheted by Ella, but you need to look at her other patterns because she has several Stranger Things inspired patterns in her shop, but I want to highlight one more. One of my other favorite designs by Crocheted by Ella is her Eddie Munson pattern. Now, there are going to be no spoilers, but I will just say that Eddie is a character that is, you know, a small character, but he gains in significance throughout season four. And for that reason, I chose Eddie and I just love that she captured that hard rock exterior of his, but his heart of gold as well. So I really, really love this version of Eddie and 
his little t-shirt and everything about it. I love it and I hope that you'll check him out. We cannot talk about Stranger Things without talking about Dustin Henderson. He has the purest heart of any character in all of Stranger Things, in my opinion. I love Dustin so much. I love his toothless little smile, and I love him even when he gets some teeth in later seasons, but he is just such a precious young man, and I just love how much he loves his friends, and he just has such a special spirit about him, and I love him so much. This Amigurumi version, from Crafty is Cool is so wonderful. I love how she captured his goofy little smile and his mop of a curly head underneath his baseball cap. I think it looks fantastic. But one of the things that I love about Dustin is that he always has these funny one-liners and one of my favorites is from season two when he's at the library and he is desperate to check out these books. But at the library, you can only check out five of the books and he already has five at home and he is desperate to get these books so that he can learn everything he can about their predicament that they're all in. And he said this to the librarian, I'm on a curiosity voyage and I need my paddles to travel. These books, these books are my paddles. He distracts the librarian, runs out of the library with the books screaming, I need my paddles. And I just think that is so cute. Allison has this amazing talent of creating amigurumi toys that look exactly like the people that she's crocheting. She has done a lot of famous people and I think it's really fun. So make sure to check out all of her patterns as well. When you're searching for Stranger Things themed amigurumi patterns, one of the most popular creatures is the Demogorgon. You're going to actually find quite a few patterns of those yucky, scary thingies. Creatures is the best word I have for them. But this one from Las Milas Agujas, I hope I'm saying that correctly is actually a really cute one. I liked this one a lot because it looked like the Demogorgons, but it wasn't super scary. So I like this one. I love the little teeth and it just, I thought it was cute. So I wanted to share that one with you guys as well. The next project is the Stranger Things Boys Amigurumi Pattern Bundle. And you get all four of the core group of boys who would sit down in the basement and play Dungeons and Dragons together and get yelled at by Mike's mom. And this pattern includes Dustin Henderson, Will Byers, Mike Wheeler, and Lucas Sinclair. And each one of these toys represents the personalities and the costumes of each one of those Stranger Things characters. And I really, really like that, especially the Mike one. I feel like her version of Mike looks so much like the real Mike. I just want to go, oh my gosh, there's Mike. But one thing that I think would be so much fun is if there was an Amigurumi version of the boys in their ghost Halloween costumes. I would love that so very much. That would be so much fun. So if you ever decide to make these and put Ghostbusters Halloween costumes on them, please send me a photo of that because I would love to see it. This next project is not technically Amigurumi, but I felt the need to include it because I think it's so amazing. It's a Stranger Things crocheted quilt and oh my goodness. I think this one is so incredible and each one of the blocks represents something very special from Stranger Things. I love the block that said friends don't lie. I also like the one that says you are such a nerd. I love the letters across with the Christmas lights. I love the Demogorgon. Organ, and if you look at it, it actually folds up and then it opens up as well, which I think is really cool. You also have a quilt block that says 83 for 1983. You also have a little block for Steve and Robin with little anchors on them. That's so cute. And one square that says, I love Barb. Oh my gosh. Yes, we love Barb. She was always trying to help Nancy make the right choices. So I know that this is not technically Amigurumi, but I thought it was so special and it has has some amigurumi type elements with the demogorgon on there but i wanted to include it for you guys because i thought it was spectacular it's finally time for me to reveal which project i made and it is 11 by the designer carla mitrani from amor faux crochet and i chose this one because it really perfectly represents everything that stranger things is about you've got Elle there in the pink dress with her shaved hair and her tube socks on 
on and her blue coat that she was wearing and I just felt like as soon as you see this image you know exactly what it is if you're a Stranger Things fan and then there's actually a little bit of blood coming out of her nose which I think was a really great touch because that's something that happened to Elle all the time one thing that I love about Carla's projects is that they're pretty simple in design they're not a tremendous amount of tiny little details and they aren't a lot of difficult techniques but somehow she has this amazing way of capturing a character with her crochet I made one of her projects before and it was the Anne of Green Gables doll and I just think that this one is so sweet and I think anybody who knows anything about Anne of Green Gables would look at this and see Anne with an E right away I just love that about Carla's designs she also has a book out that is absolutely fantastic and I haven't gotten around to crocheting any of these yet but I featured them in another video this is her crochet iconic women and there are so many wonderful strong women characters in this book and I cannot wait to make some of them and I just love her work and I love that she wants to represent strong women with her crochet whether it's through her iconic women book but she also has a lot of patterns on Etsy that you can find as well so I love Carla's simplicity but also her inspiration and just the way that she designs her toys are magnificent and I hope that you like this 11 I think she's beautiful for this project I used one of my tried and true yarns which is Barocco vintage I love that this yarn has a little bit of a halo so that in case your stitches aren't super super tight it kind of gives a little bit of fuzz in there it feels really good in my hands and I love all the different color options but for the green and orange stripes on her tube socks I did not have that in the Barocco vintage so I just used the paint box wool mix Aaron now paint box wool mix Aaron is a heavy weight yarn which just means it's thicker than Barocco vintage which is a worsted weight but it was fine just for those little stripes and I was able to incorporate them with no problems and I also just used my favorite 3.5 millimeter crochet hook and I love the furls version because it has an ergonomic handle it has a really really strong metal shaft at the top and then also it has a nice pointy head to get through those really tight single crochet stitches I hope you enjoyed today's video and if you're going to make one of these characters please let me know I would love to hear from you also let me know if I didn't include a great pattern that you've already found I would love to see it but as always if you would please give me a like subscribe to the channel and I will see you next week stay safe out there and happy stitching <laughs>